Bad press is surrounding Texas Southern University as it nears its 85th anniversary. The band and the athletic program are dealing with a lot now. In case you missed the headlines, here is a brief rundown. On October 9th, a university task force announced that 10 upperclassmen were kicked out of the Ocean of Soul, TSU's marching band, for an alleged hazing incident involving members of the trumpet section. The entire band was also suspended from all games, homecoming events, and the battle of the bands. Students around campus had a lot to say about the incident. You know, it does reflect badly on TSU because, you know, we're a black school and, you know, they want to, oh, they always want to see us doing something bad versus all the good that we do. And I think the band is an intricate part of the school spirit. Despite the troublesome situation, some students still had hope. I don't think there will be less people at the games because TSU Tiger spirit runs deep. And without the band, we're going to need more fans to support our team. So I think um, us as Tigers are going to band together um, and actually be, in, be there in high numbers. Soon after, TSU's athletic program was hit with a five-year probationary period by the NCAA. Investigators say that the athletic program was guilty of improper recruiting tactics, academic and financial aid violations between 2004 and 2011. Some of the NCAA and TSU imposed sanctions include postseason bans for football through 2014 and basketball through 2013. The toughest sanction of all is the order to remove all win-loss records and championships from 2006 to 2011. This penalty wipes out TSU's 2010 SWAC football title. The school's first since 1968. Despite these sanctions, most students were still worried about TSU's Ocean of Soul. Please, please bring back the band. I would really like to see the band. I haven't even really just sat down and watched the band, so I'm missing out on my college experience of TSU. So please bring back the band. Please, please, please. It looks like Tashay will be having a better college experience after all. Soon after this interview, the Texas Southern University Task Force decided to lift the suspension of its marching band. This means the band will be allowed to perform on October 27th at the home game against Gramlin State. I'm Rebecca Batres reporting for Conexión Latina.